Hey everyone, welcome to Water Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie and this is the Tier 9 Skoda, the new Czech medium tank, the auto loader. Skoda 250 at Tier 9 and this replay is said to be by my old mate John 5454 from Pyro Clean. He's a hell of a good tanker, a hell of a nice bloke and managed, manages to pull some absolute blinders no matter what tank he plays. There he's on Fisherman's Bay, spawned to the south and he's moving up into a position where he can hopefully get a little bit of vision up the western side of the map and maybe put some cheeky shots in. Now the Skoda is a three shot auto loader. It's the first three shot auto loader that's been into the game since the since the Japanese were introduced. He gets a cheeky shot into the Comet as well as the Scorpion, the new tier 8 premium tank from Germany. Pulls back to reload. Now this is the tank I've also got in my garage. I'm, I haven't got the T10, but I, I am impressed with the T9. The only thing that can be a little bit painful is when you're reloading. Same as with any, same as with any auto loader. Gets a couple of shots into that T37, and one more bullet would have really made the difference there and taken the T37 out of the game. But that's what you need to do in these auto loaders. You always need to find somewhere to fall back to, I guess. Looking at the mini map, you can see that the, the heavier tanks have gone to the town near the water, apart from the T32 and the IS-6. And some tank destroyers and mediums are sort of going for the one line. And John's trying to get another cheeky shot into that T37 to take him out of the game, but it looks like he just got behind a bit of cover just in time. Frantically looking for a target, and he sees the IS-6. Always a handy tank to get rid of. And then, with one bullet left in the clip, he gets another shot into the T-54 lightweight. Another, another tank which can be pretty scary, even though it's not top tier. Now, while John's reloading, he's having a look at the mini map, and he's seeing how his team are going, or how they're going or not going. You can see a lot of enemy tanks down the one line. He's just looking for some opportunities to put a bit more damage in. You can see he's already done two and a half thousand damage. Doesn't feel like two and a half thousand damage because because of that weight between clips I suppose and, and um, it doesn't feel like you're doing a massive amount of damage in this tank. That's what I find anyway. Maybe it's because I'm not doing anywhere near the amount of damage that you're about to see from John. But John just waiting for an opportunity here. He's in the bushes. He's peeking the ridge lines. And he's just looking for a moment to strike. It looks like the enemy side are going to push pretty hard on that 1-2 line. Someone finally gets rid of that pesky little T-37. And it looks like they're pushing, or at least the T-54 lightweight is. John's nearly got a full clip, so he's using the reload time to relocate. And he gets rid of that T-54 lightweight. But it doesn't look like those heavies are pushing. It looks like those heavies are doing what hev heavies often like to do, and just sort of sitting there without pushing. But then they've realised that T-32 is not only low health, but he's on his own. Uh, they probably haven't really noticed John yet, but I think they're about to. As soon as he gets these three rounds into his clip, he's not going to be quick enough to save the T32, but he's going to be quick enough to give him a bit of a scare, these enemy tanks. Very lucky that, that Scorpion put that shot into the dirt, and that cost him his tank. And the IS-3 looks like it was killed by the T-54 on the enemy side. It looked like John was about to kill him, but then he was killed by his own teammate, the T-54, which I'm tipping is camping back at C-1, which is where he was last spotted. And now John's got another three shots left, and that's going to be enough to get rid of Coyote Kill, the IS-6, the Tier 8 Premium Russian tank, as John reloads again and uses his reload time to relocate. He's probably not too keen on pushing straight up that one line. Not with that Scorpion up there as well as the T-54 and possibly that ISU with the big derpy gun. And of course the IS-3 who was killed by his teammate 
is now trying to let everyone know where the T-54 is. He's obviously not very happy about being team killed, but without even noticing, John's picked up over 5,000 damage here. He's still at full health, so it looks like the only shot he took was he either bounced or, of course, there was the shot that the Scorpion put straight into the dirt right in front of him. And now John's moving up into the central part of the map where once I, th I think more often than not if you win the central part of this map you're going to win the game. I mean John's team is comfortably winning it. 10 to 5 and John's just looking for some more cheeky shots. There's one to get rid of that Scorpion. Scorpion G. I wonder what the G stands for. don't know. I suppose it's to differentiate between the American Scorpion. That T7, I suppose. And now John's decided it's time to use his hit points. Push forward. He is top tier. Poor old tier 7 09 gets taken out by the AMX 30. And John's just spotted that ISU 152. He doesn't want that tank shooting at him. Even though he's only a tier 8. It's got one of those big derpy Russian guns which can often take the health out of any medium tank it comes across. So John gets gets rid of the tier 8 and then gets a cheeky shot into the tier 7 ISU 152 tank destroyer and that hiss is the sound of heat ammunition coming from that T-54 who looks like he's been sniping like a bitch from the back of the one line including shooting his own teammates but it looks like he the RU might be shit out of luck but just in time, John saves the day, takes the T-54 out of the game, and then the hunt is on for the AMX-30, who looks like he's just out of his render range. John's still got plenty of hit points. He's picked up six kills. Looks like he hasn't got much, much of a shot on the AMX-30 from where he is, so he's going to try and get to some higher ground. And hopefully my voice holds in as John goes in for the seventh kill. He's already done 6,365 damage according to the damage counter on my mod pack. But I know what John's like. He's always going to be hungry for that little bit more damage. There's 935 hit points up for grabs here. He's zooming in and out like a champion. I don't know what that does. Probably makes him go a little bit quicker. AMX looks like he's fired and he's taken out the T-30. RU puts a shot into him. And the AMX kills the RU. And while he's reloading, it gives John the chance to go straight for him and hopefully kill him. Is he trying to commit Hari Kari? Is he going for the water? Is he doing an arty? Nah, it looks like he's going to stand and fight this AMX-30. Nearly kills him and rams him. He's not going to wait to reload. John's going to go for the 7th kill, go for the ram kill and absolutely carry that game. It's a mastery badge. Ace Tanker, Mastery Badge in the Tier 9 Czech Medium Tank, the Skoda T-50. Spotting Medal for getting over a 1,000 hit points of spotting damage. Bruiser, Duelist, Fire for Effect, the High Calibre. John loves his High Calibre medals. And with games like that, you can imagine how many he's got. He got a Sniper Medal for doing at least 8 shots from a distance of at least 300 metres. That would have been from those cheeky snipey shots that he got at the start of the game. And the Top Gun, looking at the second page of the post-game battle result, 7,071 damage for his seven kills, 1,623 base experience. That's a massive score at any tier. I mean, it was a pretty good matchup for the Skoda T-50. There was only, I think, three T-9 tanks on both sides, but John made the absolute most of that and took the enemy apart meticulously. Fired 28 shots, only 24 of them hit, so he only missed 4 shots and 23 of those shots went, did damage. 1,800 sniping damage and a total of 7,071 damage, which gave him a decent, not a bad, not a bad profit for a tier 9 battle in a non-premium account with 22,000 credits. Game only went for 8 minutes, but in that 8 minutes, John did 7,071 damage. That's nearly 1,000 damage a minute. A massive result from John. Thanks very much for that replay, John. Very entertaining. Very, very well done. It's a, it's it's really 
made me think I'm going to start playing this tank a little bit more. I haven't had many games in it. I haven't had it for very long, but you're obviously absolutely loving it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you all next time.